Hello, I'm Matt Lucas for Fairfax News, and this is John Adahar. So a little bit before we go into our segments for today, we have our metallic gloves on sale for pre-order for our wholesalers. We have red, green, and purple. You can get them from our website, www.fairtex.com. Uh, also, Tong and Densok recently fought. Tong fought uh, Darky 5G at Lumpini Stadium. The stadium's still open, just uh, no uh, audience. Tong did a great job, uh, but just on the retreat a bit too much, uh, lost the bout on points. Uh, Densak got caught with a right hand in the third round. Um, so, an unfortunate bouts for them, but we learned something. Uh, next up is our interview with Dennis from Dynamite Muay Thai in Australia. Uh, hello, welcome uh, to the show today, Dennis. I appreciate you coming on. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, Dynamite. Hi, Matt. Thank you for having me. Um, Dynamite Muay Thai is my gym. It's in Melbourne of Australia. It's, uh, it's, it's more of a fight gym, but we also have a, a show, which is Dynamite Naksu. We have two branches of the Dynamite Naksu. One in Australia is called Female Fight Tour. It's uh, a platform for female fighters. And then the one in Asia is to give opportunity, growth, and uh, exposure to Muay Thai in the communities in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. And you've had uh, three successful uh, of the female shows. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, the Female Fight Tour, which is in Australia, is um, we bring together females from around Australia at the time. There wasn't many females in my state, so it's still up until now. We still fly 80% of the card, the fight card, into Melbourne to fight. Mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to get that exposure for the females and you know grow the industry. Um, more so recognition for the female fighters that they didn't get in the past. Yeah, yeah. it definitely seems like the female fight scene, not only in Australia, but around the world is growing a lot. Definitely, definitely. It was something that for a lot of countries was still kind of taboo, especially in Asia, uh, Southeast Asia, where we were trying to promote the show for females. Uh, it was difficult to get a female headline for so long in the countries that we were promoting in. Um, it wasn't until we got to Australia and said, look, this is what it looks like in Australia, showed them the footage, and then it was like, oh, okay, I see, I see why we do it. And yeah, we're definitely, that's where it kind of pushed. Yeah, awesome. And you've been in Australia, in Melbourne, for about eight years now. Yes, ah, What is the Australian Muay Thai scene like? Uh, now, the Australian scene is really, really growing, it's growing fast. The, uh, eight years ago, there was only two gyms in the city where we're located. Now there's close to 50 gyms in the city. And um, in terms of the competitive side, it's very competitive now. It, we're very close to Thailand. Eight years, ten years ago, there wasn't much travel to and from Thailand. Mm -hmm. But now everyone's been to Thailand at least three or four times. Everyone's been to Fairtex. Everybody in, in our state knows of Fairtex. Um, and, and I guess for a lot of the Melbournians, Pate was on the map because of Fairtex, so it's one of those things where you know the exposure. Um, it's 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 grown to the point where we've got world class athletes from all around Australia now, not just not just our state. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, you've been coming to Fairtex Pate since two thousand eight. How have yes. you seen it change over time? Uh, in terms of training, the training is still very difficult. It's hard. It's good. It's grit. It's uh, the knowledge is still there. Uh, I wouldn't say it's gotten easier over the years. We still come back because it's difficult and, and uh, the wealth of knowledge and, and stuff is here. So that's why we, we keep coming back. Uh, now that there's a, a stronger female fight team presence here at Fairtex, it's, it's more beneficial for me now to bring more of my female mm -hmm. fighters to, to check out what the scene is like here in, in Fairtex and, and in Thailand in general. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I appreciate you coming on the show today, Dennis. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you for having me. Thank you, uh, Fairtex Training Center, for having me as well. Thank you very much. So that was a great interview with Dennis. Um, learned a lot about the Australian Muay Thai scene, but a little bit about you and um, the Philippines. Uh, so when did you join Fairtex? Tell us a little bit about that. I uh, officially signed at Fairtex last year, August, but the first time I went here is last year, February, and I tried the 60-day uh, trial, mm -hmm. and when I came back to the Philippines, I mean, when I came back here in Thailand last August, they just uh, signed me in to get a sponsorship with it, full 
uh, full sponsorship. Yeah, and since then you had a successful MMA bout, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, how did it go? What was it like? Well, uh, it was a good scrap because uh, my opponent is uh, actually a veteran. He fought already uh, ten, 10 fights already and me is like six six fights mm -hmm. and uh, you know I got the knockout the knockout on the round two and it was a pretty good fight so yeah I remember watching it and being impressed with your stand-up um, what is the MMA, MMA scene like in the Philippines right now the MMA scene in the Philippines is like uh, it's a uh, it's pretty huge because uh, everyone wanted to scrap including the girls they just been uh, grinding the whole time, doing it passionately, uh, doing boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, wrestling. So they just wanted to step on the uh, professional league, you know, the big stages. So. Mm -hmm. Well, we're definitely seeing a lot of growth there. Um, do you have any plans for the year? Yeah, I'll be uh, starting accepting fight. Maybe I'll fight this year three to four times mm -hmm. before, before the 2020 ends, you know. Yeah, I mean everything's up in the air right now, but uh, hopefully we'll get to see you in the cage soon. Sure. Thank For you sure. so much. Privilege. Thank you. Thank you.